Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God of Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. So, as the title says, this is going to be a reading vlog, which I am super, super excited to be making. I'm actually not going to be starting the reading today. I'm going to start my reading on Sunday, but it is Saturday, January 9th. Yeah, Saturday, January 9th. And um, I wanted to make the intro now because I might not be able to do the intro tomorrow, just because it might be a little noisy. I will be home tomorrow on Sunday because my son has quite a lot of homework to get done. And um, normally, I don't get home from church until eight nine o'clock and then my son doesn't get home until after i do and thus um i don't want it to be super late so i'd rather him get home earlier to do work so um i'm just gonna stay home from church tomorrow and do church from um online however i will be diving into barbara and Britton's um second book in her tribes of israel series which is building benjamin naomi's journey and i'm so excited to be reading this so if you don't know i did receive um a couple packages from her one upon request and the second one um after making my first set of reading blogs for her and uh the first book that came in that package was providence which is all about hannah's journey and that is actually the first book in the tribes of israel series click the i to go watch that video it's a non-spoilery video so you can watch it and not be spoiled about anything um but i talk about the faith aspects and how i feel about the characters and me reading them and i adored this book gave it five stars this is all about the servant girl who was never named in second Kings chapter five and also the commander naman and uh the story of him having to go into the jordan river to cleanse himself of the leprosy or whatever it was that he had and so the way that she wrote this was absolutely beautiful the romance in this was absolutely beautiful the faith aspects was absolutely beautiful i don't know what is going on upstairs sorry guys my neighbors are my landlord so my landlord lives upstairs and um she does have two younger kids and i think that's her son and her nephew so i apologize about that but that's why i'm making the intro video now because like i said tomorrow is no telling what's gonna happen but um yeah i adore this one and then i did also read the third book which is jerusalem rising which is all about Ada's journey and this one follows nehemiah's chapter one and eight and it's all about nehemiah rebuilding the walls of jerusalem alongside governor shalom and shalom's two daughters i think he had two daughters if i'm not mistaken and i enjoyed this one i gave it a 4.5 star rating um it was a fun read and you can also click the article watch that reading vlog which is also non-spoilery um but yeah i already read the first and third book and thus i now have the sequel to read and i'm super super excited and this one is actually her most romantic story so i'm super excited because this has the enemies to lovers trope we love to see it so i'm gonna read the back of it for you guys right now actually on the front it says to maintain her family's honor can naomi abandon the shepherd who has not only captured her body but stolen her heart and then on the back it says love grows where god grafts the tender shoot naomi desires to dance well enough to catch the eye of a wealthy landowner her father needs a substantial bride price due to the deaths of her brothers at the hands of the tribe of benjamin but when benjamites raid the ephraimite feast and capture young girls naomi is bound and carried from her home by eliab a troubled shepherd who needs a wife as Naomi awaits rescue, she finds Eliab has a strong faith in God and a just reason for abducting her, a reason that affects all the tribes of Israel. The future of the tribe of Benjamin hangs in the balance, but if Naomi follows her heart and stays with Eliab to rebuild his lineage, she must forfeit her family and become a traitor to her own tribe. So it just sounds so good. Can't wait to dive into it. I do have the matching bookmark for it here. And on the back, it looks like that. This is also signed by the author um here it is and in the book she actually says to read judges 21 but in the note she says that the backstory for this is going to be judges 19 and 20 so i'm going to actually sit down and read judges 19 and 21 prior to going into this i'll probably listen to an audio bible version of it and then dive in and i already have it sectioned off into three parts i'm going to read this in one day of course these are all like one day reading vlogs but um I'm going to read it in three parts so that I'm not getting too overwhelmed with the story. I'm the type of person where I can sit down and read one book in, within an hour, but I also like to read multiple books at the same time. And I'm actually in the middle of two other books. <laughs> so in between reading this, I'm going to read parts of my other books. So I'm going to read up to chapter. I'm going to read chapters one. Is there a prologue to this? Let me just check. Is there a prologue? No prologue. So I'm going to read chapters one to 11 and um then i'm gonna do chapter 12 
to 20 and then 21 into the end so that's how it's going to go but um yeah i just want to like like i said i wanted to sit down and make this um intro i actually just did my unboxing for the grace and delilah box for january which is so freaking cute so i'm not sure if that video is going to go up before this or the same week or whenever um but if it is up before this click the audio to watch the video and um yeah i'm super excited to dive into this book the audiobook for this is on scribd and if you guys don't know about scribd scribd is literally it reminds me of audible and kindle but it's for the price of one so with scribd you pay 9.99 a month for um unlimited access to ebooks and also not just ebooks but you also get unlimited access to audiobooks really you get um up to three audiobooks a month and the reason why i say that is because they will cap you sometimes i've seen people get away with four books sometimes i've been able to read five listen to five or six audiobooks it really just depends um but even still three credits for the price of ten dollars a month plus having unlimited access to documents to ebooks and magazines and things like that is phenomenal so i definitely would recommend it if you guys are interested in checking out scribd be it for audiobooks or ebooks click the link down below and if you click the link you get two free months and then i get a month additional um for free since you use my link to sign up and i just i love scribd so much i think it's a phenomenal service um especially if you're used to audible and kindle unlimited i would say definitely check it out but um yeah so all the links for this will be down below so i will have links for the paperback and the kindle version down below the the audible version for this down below and then the scribd ebook and audiobook as well down below for you guys if you're interested in checking out this book um and yeah so that is it for this intro i just wanted to make this intro for you guys i'm actually really really tired right now i want to go sit down relax and color and just enjoy the rest of my night watch some anime so i'm gonna come back tomorrow and we'll get to reading hey guys i know look weird i have on my little uh sleep mask it's a unicorn i'm like in a unicorn phase right now but um yeah, so let me fix this to make sure my computer volume is down as much. Okay, so I mentioned in the intro that I was going to be going to church because my son had a lot of work to do. And um, he's eating dinner, then he's going to come here and do all his work and then prepare for bed. Um, it's 6.45 right now and I have not gotten a chance to touch this book. I have, I was experiencing something crazy, um, which actually kept me up all night last night. And I didn't go to sleep until I think 8.45 this morning and I slept until about 11 30 and then i woke up and i've been up since 11 30 so um i didn't get a chance to really do this because i just took time to um do some coloring and i also did um my brother's website so i helped him create his website and get it together and things like that so that's completely published and launched so that was basically my day um i'm watching the service right now my bishop is going off i will leave a link down below to my church's facebook page and instagram so you guys can check it out the, all the services are always there um, but yeah, my bishop is, he's going off the hook. But, um, I am actually going to take time to finally read this. And I'm going to read it straight through. Um, I normally take breaks in between my readings. But, I don't want to do that. I actually want to finish this book. And then maybe possibly finish up my other book. Um, as well. Because I'm currently reading three and a half books. I'm going to read this book. Um, I'm reading Son of the Father. And then I'm also reading another book. But I'm going to focus solely on this. Because I actually want to finish this at least by 11 o'clock. Um, I know I can finish it way before then, but my son, like I said, has homework to do, so. I am going to, I might, there might not be a lot of clips of me reading just because my son is home, I'm relaxed already, got my pajamas on, um, pink roses with little arrow keys, and then I got this robe right here, which is white with pink, uh, and red florals on it, so, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for bed, but, real quick, let me just explain to you guys exactly what happened, so, Last night, I just was in this, okay, actually, it started from maybe a day or two days ago. What well, was yesterday? I said it was Friday, so, um, Saturday, so maybe Friday. Um, yeah, Friday. I had texted, um, texted, I text, uh, one of my, uh, brothers in Christ, and my sisters in Christ, and my sister in Christ, and, um, sometimes I know that I hear the voice of God, but sometimes I get, um, hesitant of whether I'm listening to the voice or not, because there's always three voices, yourself, the enemy, and God. And so, um, you know, my scripture from 2019 popped in my head and I was told to text them both. So I did text them both. And my brother, um, he responded back, not my birth brother, my biological brother, my spiritual brother. He responded back, um, just thanking me and things like that and saying that that was his verse. That was like the verse. And I said, okay, God, I'm listening. So, um, I'm in this stage where I want to be able to hear more from God, hear more from him. And um, I said it in a prayer that I asked that one. I wanted to hear more. So um, Saturday, 
I was listening to this song. Click this right here, this I, and go to the song. It's called Release by Psalmist Rain. That song, it is a 26-minute song. It is literally pure worship, and I love that song so much. I'm actually working on a routine to that song. It is beautifully done, beautifully done. But um, while listening to that, I was just praying and just you know consistently saying that I wanted to hear more um I I'm I've always said that I wanted to hear more but I wasn't always ready I feel like I was um saying it and being truthful and 100% real with it and so I do that and then I just couldn't sleep all night I couldn't sleep and what I heard was to get up now normally when God needs me to get up um he'll normally give me something to do get up study your word get up and read get up and write get up and pray get up and do like he'll specifically tell me but this time he said nothing he just said, get up and so I laid in bed the whole time. I, I didn't get out of my bed. I laid in the bed. Now, that's probably where my first mistake was. I probably should have got out of the bed, but I did not. I stayed in the bed until about four or something. My mom came in and she said, you're still up. And I was like, yeah, I can't sleep. And she thought it was just me not sleeping. But I explained to her that it was God. And she was like, oh, yeah, because she knows how that goes. And he wakes you up. He wakes you up. Um, so just kept hearing get up. So I finally had got out of the bed. It was like four or something, 445-ish. Um, and... Uh, no, not 4.30. It was about 7-ish. Because when she walked out the room, I stayed in bed a little longer. So it was about 7-ish when I got out. And I was like, you know what? Let me just brush my teeth, wash my face. Brush my teeth, wash my face. Um, and then I heard, get water. Okay. I don't like water. I hate water. Honestly, water is the most disgusting thing in the world to me because it has no flavor. I know someone is going to probably say that doesn't make sense. But to me, it makes sense. I just don't like water, period. So um, I drank a whole bunch of water. And I really wanted coffee, but I could not have the coffee until I drank a whole thing of water. And I have um, two other tumblers like this. One is from Starbucks, and then the other one I was, was from Walgreens. And um, it was a mermaid-style one, but it was, like, really tall. This one, I think, is, like, 12 ounces. I think the one from Walmart was 24 or 18 ounces, or something like that. So I had to finish all of that water in there before I could have my coffee. And um, so as I'm brushing my teeth and washing my face, I hear God say, um, well, I hear the Spirit say, go look in your purse. And the reason, that, the reason for that is because the night before... Yesterday, I was recording my unboxing for the Delilah box, and I had misplaced a lip gloss that my sister had given me, and I could not remember for the life of me where it went. It was just like it vanished, vanished honestly, and I was freaking out because my sister had just given it to me, um, and, you know, I love lip glosses and stuff, and here's a lip gloss right here. It's a little lip gloss that my sister had gave me, given me, and um, I couldn't find it, and that's awkward for me not to find things because I'm not the type to lose stuff, so it was real awkward. And so while I was, like, I mean, I went through the house having everybody, like, did y'all see the lip gloss? It was that bad. So, um, yeah, as I was brushing my teeth and washing my face, all I heard was looking in your purse. And I'm like, why am I looking in my purse? Why well, didn't put nothing in my purse last night? Lo and behold, the lip gloss was in my purse. How it got there, I don't know, because I honestly did not put that lip gloss in my purse. Honestly, I did not. So that was definitely a god thing. Um, so, okay, cool. I did that. I got the lip gloss out, and then I did my Bible uh, faith planner, excuse me, I did my Bible reading, I did my prayer journal, thinking that, cool, I can go to sleep, no, I can go to sleep still, so I made me some oatmeal, and then I prepared my coffee, I made the water hot, um, and everything that I needed to make my coffee, um, and I still could not fall asleep until, like, 8, and about 8, yeah, about 8.45, because that's when my mom and them left to go to church, so at 8 o'clock, I, I didn't hear anything else from God, so I was like, okay, maybe, you know, maybe there's nothing else to be said at this point in time. But I think that was just because I had said to him that I was ready. Um, and I was actually willing and able to do so. Um, I guess it was a test to see if I was really listening. And I stayed awake. And I'm still really, really tired. Like I said, I, I slept from 8.45 till about 11.45, 11.30. Um, that's not a lot of sleep. I'm still exhausted in my son's home. So he has to do work. Um, so I didn't get a chance to read my book. And so I'm going to do that tonight so i'm going to get the audiobook from scribd which i'm actually going to look up right now i'm actually going to go on scribd the link for scribd is down below again that's not how you spell scribd there we go and so i'm going to read the first two chapters of course on camera um, and give you guys my thoughts, how I feel about things, 
and then I'll read the rest off camera. Now, what I did do this morning, though, was I did listen to the audio version through the YouVersion Bible app. I listened to um, Judges 19 to 21, and oh my god, gruesome much, savage much, um, the tribe of Benjamin, get your lives together, man. I was mind blown. Sorry, guys, I don't have my phone on mute. I probably should have put it on mute. Let me put it on vibrate. But um, the tribe of Benjamin, just what they did. I mean, I can't, I can't really blame them per se because they weren't the ones that did the bad thing. But they didn't help the situation either. So um, it was crazy. That's all I'm gonna say. It was crazy. But um, yeah. So I already did read that through so i have my um sort of background information going into this book and i hope it's not too gruesome either because 19 and 20 was enough 21 was enough okay um and this book is based off of judges 21 but she also recommends that you um it the backstory for judges 21 is obviously 19 and 20 which is all about benjamin and how they became um like the least of the tribes and just battles and wars against the other just <laughs> read it that's all i can say is just read it and so i read it already and the first chapter actually quotes judges 21 25 which just says in those days israel had no king everyone did as they saw fit um so obviously this was a time of confusion this was a time of um people falling into different lusts and temptations people just doing whatever they wanted to do evil um what they thought was good what they thought was right what they thought was pure and noble and things like that doing whatever they felt was right when it really wasn't right it was everything against god um allowing their flesh their fleshes their flesh to rule over them so um yeah i am going to begin reading um i'm probably not going to listen to the audiobook until yeah the audiobook is from the same person as well mending the wall she did the other two audiobooks so the audiobook says five hours. I listen to everything on three times speed. I don't think they have three times speed on here. So they have two times speed, which would be like two and a half hours. Oh, they have three times. Oh, there we go. So it's available in three on for three times speed. Five hour audiobook. That's going to be about like an hour and 30 minutes. So I definitely can finish this really quickly if I just fly through it and just stick to the audiobook. But because I like to read and listen at the same time because I want to annotate as I'm listening. Um, it's going to probably take two hours for me to read this. So that's not bad. It's 6.55 now. I'm going to start reading and um, I should be done no later than 9 o'clock. So if I'm done by 9, then I can dive back into my other book and finish that as well. And then finish. I'll be at three books for the year, which is bad. I, I feel upset because it's the 10th day of January and I would have read at least eight, nine books by now. Um, but it's been such, such craziness. And this week is not going to be any better because I have some administrative work to do with the church. Um, and, uh, I recently became over the dance ministry. So I have a lot of, uh, foundational work with that to do, um, as far as like making the packets and things like that. So yeah, lots of work ahead of me. And I'm also preparing for the Bible study and the book club. So for February, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. It's a lot, but it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna get through it. I know. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to dive right into reading this so you guys can Watch the montage. Thank you. 
in three chapters. Um, I'm really loving this enemies to lovers trope. Um, I would definitely suggest if you're going to read this book, read Judges 19 to 21. Even if you have to listen to an audio Bible, if you go on, if you use a U version um Bible app, they have certain um translations with audio to it. So I listened to the ESV or was it the CSV? I think it was the ESV or the CSV translation. Um, and it really helped because this dives directly into the um girls from Ephraim being taken so it got it goes directly into the kidnapping but you need to understand judges 19 20 and 21 to understand why they're being kidnapped um but Eliab and Naomi are freaking hilarious they are cracking me up with their banter towards one another because they literally do not care like hey guys so I finally read to chapter 11 it is currently 11 on 1 I know I said I wanted to finish this book earlier but I got caught up with my son then had conversations on the phone and yeah so we're gonna finish this up but i am absolutely enjoying the relationship between naomi and eliad um naomi's friend kuzby or her cousin i don't know who she is but kuzby is hilarious but she also needs to get punched in her face one good time just one good time because i don't like how she is talking to naomi especially considering the situation but um kuzby is aggravating me and there's this character named gira who pops up at the very beginning right when Naomi and um, her friends are kidnapped that I don't like him I didn't like him then and I don't like him now um Eliab's brother Ash Ashbanel Ash I don't even know what this man's name is Ashbanel I think his name is he's the oldest son of Barracks um Ashbanel is he just mm, yeah so um I'm gonna continue reading I'm going to read up to chapter 20 I guess no I'm gonna read up to chapter 18 so 12 to 18 and then when I get to chapter 19 I'll come back on camera um and you guys can see me read and then I'll give my thoughts so I will be back <laughs> chapter 21 so i'm down to the last few chapters maybe nine chapters about 10 chapters uh yeah about nine chapters eight chapters in an epilogue so um yeah when i get to page 29 i guess i'll come back on camera when i get to i said page 29 when i get to chapter 28 i'll come on camera and read chapters 28 to the epilogue but um so so far um i'm loving the bond between like i said eliab and um naomi i'm really really enjoying the romance between those two characters um they are just adorable and i love how they flirt and argue with each other and how naomi doesn't bite her tongue um she doesn't allow the men of ben the, the benjamin the tribe of benjamin to woo her um so far gera hasn't popped back up so i'm hoping he doesn't um but i'm liking the development Kuzby isn't too bad. Um, she's gotten slightly better. Um, definitely has some jealousy and insecurities with her. Um, Dial is such an adorable little girl, along with Issa. He's so cute. Um, I love this. There was a scene where um, Naomi stood up for herself towards um, Ashpanel, who was Eliab's half brother. So perfect. So perfect. But. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not sure what this is going to be because I want to say it's a 5. But I don't feel like I'm getting a lot of faith aspects from it, so it might be a 4 or 4.5. I'm probably going to use the call pass system for this because I'm not 100% sure um what to rate it at this point. But yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to read 21 to 28, 27 
and then come back on camera and finish out the book and give you guys my final thoughts but yeah i'm thoroughly enjoying this thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it loving the uh enemies to lovers trope loving the fake marriage trope love that so i'm excited to continue on so i'm gonna dive back in and come back on camera when i am finishing up the book <laughs> probably going to get a four star rating um from me i'm going to think on it overnight and um see what i think but i think it's gonna get a four stars i truly enjoyed the romance i love the um dynamic between naomi and eliab uh, eliab um i enjoyed the plot i enjoyed the characters um but for me I think the faith aspects didn't come across for me as a reader um, and of course everyone gets something different when they're reading a book um, one book for me might not hit the same for you in your walk in your season if that makes sense um, I love Naomi uh, I love everything about this book it's just the faith aspects for me weren't ticking off all the boxes if that makes sense um, you have to go watch the other vlogs that I've done to fully understand because in the other three books that I read from Barbara, I was able to elaborate on the faith aspects. And this, um, it was more so just my favorite tropes in biblical fiction format. Um, I mean, I did understand the whole forgiving people. Uh, that was a big theme in this, forgiving those um, who are your brothers and sisters who hurt you um, and moving forward and not being so stuck in the past but um yeah, it's a four star read for me so i'm actually really exhausted <laughs> so i'm going to actually go to bed but in the morning i will come back um and finish off this vlog with more coherent thoughts because i cannot hardly talk right now and i'm tired so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning as they mentioned the vlog don't tell us who the other people are who the other characters are Write this first, and then you can do the, um, you know what, just erase that and write what she's about to write, okay? Because your teacher is doing, is, she's confusing me now, okay? That's confusing too. I know, we all confused. But, um, what you're going to do is you have that, so that's the first question. She's about to write the next thing you're going to do, so after that, you're going to write what I have on the board. That's your answer to that. Then you can draw your picture. Okay. And you know what animals you gotta draw? Make the snake. Who else? Um. Okay, I know. Uh, hold on. Miss Tate. What is Miss Tate? A bear. Okay, and what else? Uh, yep. Anything else? Um, books. You can draw a book. Well, no, because she said characters. Okay. Books are not characters. No, I the want... Come on now, don't do that. So go ahead, sit down. You already got that down. Okay. So now you gotta follow what she's writing on the board, okay? Alright. 
Y'all, I promise you, this teacher is spelling character wrong, bro. She is spelling character wrong. Unless I'm bugging. Unless I'm bugging. Y'all, does that say character? No, right? There's a letter missing. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm... Maybe I'm tripping, so I'm going to write it because I'm pretty sure I'm not tripping. I'm pretty sure. C H R A. No, she's definitely missing a letter. No, she's definitely missing a letter, you guys. I, I can't. It's... That's not how you spell character, but I want you to go right now. Do this assignment. Do this for me first. Don't even worry about what your teacher just wrote. Don't don't even worry about that right now. Write this, okay? That answers this question. So do that first, okay? Y'all, I can't I can't do it, y'all. I cannot do this. And I don't even know why I'm putting this in my reading vlog, but I'm gonna go in my mother's room and discuss with you guys my final thoughts on um, the book that I just read. But it's 9:27, guys. It's 9:27. And and check out my videos. I'm gonna make videos too. I'm gonna go get some water. Y'all pray for me. Okay, guys. So I came into my mother's room um, just to finish off this vlog. I just I can't with the teacher today. But um, yeah. So for building Benjamin which is um following naomi and eliab's romance and um eliab is one of the one of the last um benjamites from the tribe of benjamin and um for this i'm gonna go with the four star the only reason why is like i said because of the faith aspects i didn't get a lot of it from i didn't get a lot from the faith portions of this book um it was definitely heavy on forgiveness but um i felt like this was definitely more so romantic um the tropes i love the tropes i enjoy the characters but again when i go into biblical fiction i'm looking to see what lessons i can learn um and i feel like i couldn't personally connect with the lesson of uh forgiveness in a sense because i mean everyone can relate to forgiveness and understand what it is but for me it just wasn't pulling through as like I, it did when i read the other books does that make sense i hope i'm making sense to you guys but um yeah, it's a four star read i definitely 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 enjoyed it i would definitely recommend it especially if you're into romances um in your in your biblical fiction you definitely might like this um if you are familiar with the fake marriage trope or if you're familiar with the enemies to lovers trope and you wanted something that was more clean this is definitely it there are some definite romantic scenes in this book especially towards the end between eliab and naomi that made me swoon and i was just like yes but um overall i did enjoy this i'm so happy to have read this and now have read all three books so i'm going to be next week reading um book two in the daughters of zalofa head series which is going to be heavenly light and that one follows noah so i'm super super excited but again i would definitely recommend you guys check out this book and the other two books as well links will be down below for this book to scribes in on kindle and audible and things like that so yeah i think that's it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next reading vlog bye mm -hmm.